um, since this area is reserved for the event, uh, we set aside an area that if people don't have a ticket, they can go uh, to that side. So Now, will anything happen to a demonstrator if they're standing with a sign in a sort of a random area? Nope. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them. So actually, it looks like the cop who was in there, in that place where I just was a minute ago, he's not actually blocking people from going inside the building or anything like that. It's just, uh, I think the, the venue itself is, is, uh, is restricted. And uh, that is inside this complex somewhere. So far, the, the police I've interacted with has been pretty impressive in their behavior. That <laughs> so one of them kind of interrogated me a little bit, but it was so uh, smoothly done that I didn't even bother turning on the camera. I just let the audio recorder get it. Maybe I should show you that. It was kind of, I guess, I don't know, not very interesting, which is his job. So I kept going up to areas in there, kind of expecting to get kicked out and not even really able to get mad about it, but they haven't even... They haven't even told me anything yet to do anything. To, to, they haven't kicked me out or anything like that. They may later. So up here, I guess, is where uh, folks eventually get allowed in. Question, uh, I understand uh, protesters will be asked to remain in a free speech zone, is that correct? We've got a question for you. I already asked. <laughs> I understand that protesters will be asked to go to a specific free speech zone. Is that correct? I have talked Chief Pino right there. Oh, okay. Free business pool right there, and uh, and then walk. I'll, I'll I'll come out and head the same direction. Thanks. Oh, are you Chief Pino? Yeah. Oh, thanks, David Lee. Uh, question for you. It's a RidleyReport.com. Poor man's TV station. Uh, I understand that protesters are going to be asked to remain in a free speech zone. Is that correct? We don't have free speech zones on the campus. Um, basically, what we have is scheduled and unscheduled spaces. So, um, since this area is reserved for the event, uh, we set aside an area that if people don't have a ticket, they can go uh, to that side. So. Now, will anything happen to a demonstrator if they're standing with a sign in a sort of a random area? No. Oh, okay. No. Right. Um, you know, the the only area that's going to be restricted is anywhere past past gates and, and things like that are obviously places we request people to, to respect the event and allow it to go through. So. All right. Oh, can't think of anything else to ask you. All right. Appreciate it. Yeah. Take care. Pardon? I'm I'm uh, Dave Ridley, RidleyReport.com. Okay. It's a poor man's TV station. So if we've got the event record, it's not going to get done. Okay, where do I go? I don't know. Okay, do you want me to walk with you or should I wait here? I'm trying to figure it all out. Okay. I'm just trying to wait for those um, people who are running out to come. Okay. Yeah. All right, I'll just wait and then get out of your hair. I mean, you can follow me. Or actually, okay. probably a few people are just going to figure it out. Yeah, we're going to figure it out. We'll figure it out and I'll come back again. Okay, cool. I have your number, so I'll text you. What is this about students not being able to, like, having tickets, but yet they don't? Um, so, uh... I guess they have tickets that were given through a Brent event. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, they had tickets that were given through Eventbrite. Um, apparently, the university tickets are the only ones that are being accepted. 
um, by the people running the ticketing booth. Um, I guess the people weren't informed that their tickets weren't valid, um, and there were attempts to do so. So um, I'm not exactly sure what's going on right now. Okay. Um, I'm trying to figure that out so we can uh, remedy all of that. And who are you? I I'm Steve Bates. I'm the, uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, Steve Bates, Vice President of College of Public Interior at UCCS. Okay, I've heard of you. All right, thanks. Yeah, yeah all right, thanks. Yeah. Did you say you'd heard of me? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay, I would have been honored because I don't even live here. <laughs> all right, thanks much. Yeah, no problem. LRN.FM, 24 hours of Liberty Radio every day. Now available on satellite, too, at sat.lrn.fm. That's what a satellite sounds like. Put it on your unlicensed station. Wear it in your hair. But above all, don't despair. The Liberty message is getting out. And right now, you're missing it. Or maybe you're not. But skip on over to LRN.FM. Feds don't want you to hear them.